Hello folks, this is Hollow with Information Leak again with yet another tutorial. This one is on iframe uh, denial of service or bandwidth attacks. Um, this is kind of a silly topic but a bunch of people have been asking about like denial of service attacks and, and what they are and how they work and what have you so I'm going to figure I'd explain it and show you a really simple method that's kind of really annoying hard to stop. <laughs> um, for better or worse I guess. Anyway. Uh, denial of service, DOS attack. Um, basically, hey, I'll show you. I got my little paint open here. All right, here's how it works. You have a computer, right? Let's say that's my web server, and here's you. So, you connect to me, and there you go. Beautiful, right? Everything's lovely. So, but what if there was more of you? and you were all connecting to me well you're putting a little bit of a load on my server because you know you are connecting doing whatever you're doing which is really not a lot of stuff being used up it's a teeny you know it's a teeny little bit overall out of out of what my computer is capable of and with these guys one two three one two three four you know it's like maybe a little bit more but as you continue to add more and more people onto the you know and they continue to connect you're using more and more of my bandwidth which is slowing me down more and more and more and more and using up more and more of you know my processing power and my my available bandwidth that eventually it's going to fill up from all these different guys that are connecting and what's going to happen is it's going to <laughs> wait let's do it like this it's going to kill me um not so much kill me as much as now you get somebody here who's an who's a legitimate user this is all you let's say trying to connect to me now you get a legitimate user over here who wants to try to connect and they can't because all of these connections here have already filled up the server <laughs> great diagram right thank you <laughs> okay moving on now we don't want to save that. So, I was going to show you examples, but I can't show you live examples, obviously. So, I'm going to show you an example on a site that I own personally, just for this particular situation. This is 631 Web Design. So, this is how this kind of thing works. Check this out. You have a website, right? Here it is. Hooray. And so, Let's say, oh, well, there's an image here, and that's probably a, a, a certain size, you know. It happens to be uh, 24.23K, which is a decent size. And so we look around on the website and try to find the web page that has the most amount of, of information on it. So that every time we were to reload something, it would, it would use the most amount of bandwidth trying to load stuff. So like here, beautiful pictures, a whole bunch of them. Now each one of these pictures are running about 87K, 23, yeah, you get the idea, plus this one. So this is a good page to mess with. All right, so what we do is we copy that page, copy, and now we have it. Now what we do is uh, we open up new text document All right, let me get this out of the way and we do a little HTML here now there's a million different ways to do this but uh... this is this is one way that's really easy and it's like so annoying I can't even explain it to you so anyway what this does is uh... you know what we'll even do this width equals five height equals five okay so basically what I've done here I don't know if you have to end an iframe or not I forget right now basically what I've done here is made a little web page that within it that within it um I can't even spell opens up that web page that I specified that I cut and copy right, so hold on a second bring this in and this can go so, if we open this up, see that little tiny dot of nothing? That 
is actually contains the page that I put in. So if we were to change the source code to width equals uh, 500 or whatever, and height is 500, and saved it, and then went here and refreshed, see, the web page that we specified is has been put into the other page. That's the iframe, okay? Which means that all this junk is loading inside there, which is all kind of cool. But what we're going to do is we're going to change back to 5, just so you, you know, you get the idea. 5 and 5. Now, that's all well and good, but what if somebody was to do something like, oh, I don't know, say, this. Okay, now that doesn't seem like a lot of stuff going on. In fact, I don't even know how many it is right now. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. We have 12. So that's a dozen uh, times that that site is opening every time I load my one single page here named, uh, whatever it's named, iframe. So now what we're going to do is take that 12... Uh, the 12 times it's opening and turn it into something a little more crazy. But before we do that, let's take a look at the statistics of the site that we're targeting. Uh, here, here's, the here's the statistics right here. Okay, these are live. So today being uh, the 21st, which is today, uh, as you can see, this, <laughs> this site doesn't get much traffic. This is why I'm using it as an example right now. Uh, we've had one visit, and that one visit has been 35.35K. Of stuff, we're gonna update it. Okay. Okay. So we've had one visit, my visit, and now since we looked through all those other pages and opened up all those other pages, and what have you, uh, see. Um, now we're dealing with, you know, five hundred and fifty-nine k. Hooray! And if we refresh it again, I think that really is it. Yeah, 559K. Okay, so it's like the same thing. Now, check this out. We go back into the source code of the page we wrote. And we're going to use our head a little bit. We're going to go into head. And we are going to make a meta auto refresh. I know, this is so stupid, right? But I can't. I, I, it works. Uh, you'd be very surprised. Um... can't type today um let's do every let's do five just for simplicity's sake so here's what's going to happen whoops and then end ahead and then save it now the second i hit refresh on this page over here now these 12 little dots which are 12 copies of this page are going to refresh every single, uh, I forgot already, 5 seconds. <clears throat> Meaning that every 5 seconds, it's going to open the page 12 times. The only reason I did 5 seconds is, you know, easy math. So, let's try this, shall we? We're going to hit refresh, and just, like, watch what happens. So we hit refresh, you can see the bar loading on the bottom, it loads everything up, and it's loading it 5 times, and then that's that. Da -da 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 -da. Good. Count five seconds. It's done. You can see on the bottom. And then in just a few seconds, it should have to do the whole thing. Here we go. You see? It's doing the whole thing again. Now you get the idea. I'm using small numbers here just as an example, and we're just letting it go. Okay? Um, you could even set an iframe to match this page at the end so it will loop indefinitely. Uh, it'll always be opening. You can start getting ridiculous with this. You can add as many as you want. You can put this page on your MySpace. You can put this code in your MySpace page and just start. Oh, I don't know if MySpace does iframes, but you get the idea. The more distributed this thing goes, the better. I'm just letting it run for a little bit more. And uh, so, anyway, while this is going, let's check out the statistics. So we'll update. And back to March 21st, and let's see what happens. Yeah, 994K so far. Let's check it again.
Now we're up to one meg. See, and 